Yeah, hello. Um, yeah, I wanted to use my voice for this anyway because I figured no one would want to sit there and read hundreds of captions about my responses to all the questions. But yeah, anyway, I've read through all the comments and yeah, I'll answer some of them. So a lot of people asked what I was going to do after the second series and my ideas at the moment, well firstly I'm not going to stop animating like some people were asking, I will definitely continue. But yeah, after the, after I was finished animating the thingy, uh, I wanted to do Pivot Arena Fight 5 just because it's it'd be easy and it'd be fun. Uh, I'll, I'll switch to using Pivot Fiver for that one as well, so I can have like lots of stuff going on and make it easier as well. Uh, after that, yeah, some people asked about the World War II animations. Uh, I'm going to finish off the two series that I started, the Blitz one and the Bismarck one. I don't know which order I'm going to do them in yet, but if I had to make the choice now, I'd probably do the Blitz one. Uh, some people asked about more modern ones. Uh, I might. My other one had a lot of views. I'm not really into modern stuff that much, but yeah, it's got a lot of views. If if people want, want me to do it, I, I probably will do it eventually. Uh, some people mentioned about remastering my first series, and I don't want to remaster all of it, but I did see someone else remastering my first part of the first series, which I like that a lot, and it kind of made me want to do it as well. So. I might remaster the first part of my first series, I'm not sure yet. Uh, some other stuff. Um, the D-Day animation I might do. Uh, on my old World War II videos I used to get quite a few comments about uh, people saying I should do a D-Day animation. So that's, that's still in my mind. I wouldn't do Omaha or, or Beach or anything like that though because that's kind of been done quite a bit. I'd probably do Juno Beach or Sword Beach or one of them. Uh, so I mentioned World War One stuff. Yeah, that's that's on my mind. Uh, like a two-part video of the Gallipoli campaign. I think that'd be quite good. Just have the first part is where the uh, the British land on the beaches and that and fight their way up, and the second part where they get pushed back out. That'd be good, I think. So that's uh, definitely a consideration. Uh, Someone mentioned about doing a, an animation of the Russian-Ukraine war. I don't think that'll be a very good idea to do at the moment, but um, maybe someday in the very far future. <laughs> uh, another comment I saw was about doing like, a Cold War sort of thing. Yeah, that's that's uh, an idea I was thinking of doing once, but I ended up doing the second series of Aliens, so that's what happened to that. Oh yeah, also after I finish uh, this series, after I finish part 25, I will make a little tier list picture like I did for the first series, but I'll also make a, like a statistics video showing all the different vehicles and the weapons and stuff and how many got blown up and all that sort of thing. And uh, I'll also make uh, a full version of every part just together as well as another little thing. Similar to how in series one I got it videos for each of the countries. I'll do something like that for this series as well. I'm not sure exactly which parts I've put together yet, but I'll think of something. Uh, a lot of people asked about the third series as well. Uh, I apologise if my mic's crap or if you think I sound stupid or anything, by the way. But yeah, uh, a lot of people asked about series three. Um, I don't know at the moment. Maybe after I finish that other stuff I mentioned, I'll, I'll do it, but I don't know. The, the ideas I had for it at the moment is either gonna be like carry on from where this one ends and be more between like spaceships and stuff fighting between planets. I've still have a few parts based on the planets but mostly focusing on spaceships and stuff. So I think that was kind of missed opportunity from this series. I didn't include many and I think I should have. But yeah. I have a few ideas for some of the names of some of the ships. I'll uh so um yeah. Maybe, maybe I'll do that someday. The other idea I had was like a an alien invasion sort of thing set back on Earth, but during the 1920s when you got all the uh, the World War One leftover stuff. Because I think that stuff looks cool and it's got good aesthetics. I don't know how it will start. Someone mentioned adding a, like a third race into it. I don't know if I do that or how it's going to play out or anything. Yeah, I haven't thought a huge amount about it. 
just what I've just told you, basically. Yeah, more about myself. Basically, I'm I'm 26. I'm I'm from England. Uh, I got into animating countless years ago. I don't remember how many years ago it was, but it was my brother who introduced me to Pivot, and this was back when only Pivot One existed. So that's how long ago it was. Yeah, it was um, someone I've known for quite a while who who turns up in my comment sections. Bad Wolf 66. If you've seen any of his comments, he's the one who, who came up with the idea for the first series. I, w I wanted something to animate. I was into sort of War of the Worlds at the time, and, and he said I should make like a, an alien invasion of Earth sort of thing. So I just uh, agreed and did it. And yeah, that's where it came from. Uh, I made the second series basically just because the first one was popular. Uh, my favourite overall animation is probably the Bismarck one, the uh, Battle of the Denmark Strait. I really like that. That's good. My favourite part of the Aliens one is part 24, the most recent one. Uh, someone asked about which part's the hardest, to be honest. It's it's hard to say, just because none of it's particularly hard, it's just very tedious and time consuming. Uh, my least favourite part is probably, I don't know, it's kind of split between drawing loads of different little sprites and stuff, that's very annoying. Uh, or adding sounds. I don't like adding sounds at all either, to be fair. But, yeah, that's... I can't really answer what's the hardest, because none of it's really hard. It's just, yeah, very annoying. Uh, I don't have a script or storyboards or anything like that. I, I basically have an idea in my head of what I want to animate, and I just make stuff up as I go along. None of it really has a, a, a proper plan. Just make stuff up. And if I have an idea and I like it, then I do it, or I try and fit it in. But there's a lot of ideas I had which I didn't do. I might add them as bonus parts when I finish the main series sometime, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, some of the some of the uh, ideas I had are you can see they're inspired from other things. Like you've got the yeah the Colossus and the Immortal from the Protoss in StarCraft Two. And you've got the the station in the first series. I, I took that from the mothership and from Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Uh, th there's some minor things going around, but nothing nothing else major really. I mean, the tripods are obviously sort of taken from other worlds, but yeah, I just I don't want to have to animate like 360 degree views, which is why they just have like a little circular thingy on top because they just look the same from every angle because it was easier. Uh, a lot of people asked about what keeps me motivated, and I don't know, to be honest, I, it's just my hobby, it's what I like doing. Uh, if, if I don't do it for a few days, like I say, I take a, like a week or so break after, after a video, I always just get bored or start feeling guilty knowing that I should be animating, so I, just, I kind of start doing it again. But yeah, there's a lot of times when I'm animating, I just kind of get kind of bored and just start looking at random stuff on the internet or whatever, that happens a lot, that takes up a lot of time as well to be fair. Uh, lots of people asked about, I mean not just in this video but in, in all my videos really, why they're using like World War II looking guns and basically the reason for that is I'm not very good at making stick figures so I went on droids to search for some like futuristic looking guns and I couldn't really find many that I liked. So rather than use some ones I didn't like or trying to make my own which would look rubbish, I I wanted to edit some existing guns to make them look a bit different. And I didn't I don't really like the look of modern guns, so I used World War Two ones, but I think I should have edited them a, a bit more because they do look very similar and it's kinda rubbish. But yeah, that's that's the reason. Yeah, some people asked why they invaded in, why the aliens invaded in the first series. Basically, I don't know. They just decided they didn't like us. And and there's no infantry in the first part either. I mean, no alien infantry, I should say, in the first part. Just because I thought it'd look a bit cheesy, I wanted to do it with spaceships and flying saucers and stuff. So that's why I didn't put any of the aliens themselves in the first part. But I couldn't really avoid them in the second part, which is why I had to add them in this. Uh, there were a couple of questions about other animators and stuff. Uh, there were some uh, saying I should 
try and get them to help me or something, but to be honest, I don't really want to do that. Uh, I prefer to make my own stuff than just ask other people to do it for me, but also they have their own commitments and stuff they want to do, and I, I, don't, I don't think it'd be right if I just asked them to make stuff for me. I guess some of them have volunteered, that's fine. So the stuff they've made me is pretty good to be fair, so that's fine. If they want to continue doing it themselves, then yeah, go ahead, that's great. Uh, making a collab collaboration with some others. Yeah, if, if I'm not in the middle of animating something and they have a good idea and want to do something with me, then yeah, sure. Yeah, I think a lot of people are expecting part 25 to be quite long and it it won't be to be honest. Uh, some people seem to be expecting it to be between like 10-15 minutes but it won't. I don't know how long it'll be. It's all going to take place in the building which we saw at the end of the previous part. Uh, I don't... I haven't animated something in, inside a building like that before so I don't know how long it's going to take to animate and I don't know how long it's going to be. Uh, it won't be 10 to 15 minutes, so I'll be very surprised if I can stretch it out that long, but I doubt it will be. Uh, I've, there were a couple questions about live streaming. Uh, I don't want to live stream because I've, I've never tried it before. I don't know what I'd have to do for it, and I don't really want to make a fool of myself live, so yeah. <laughs> uh, someone asked about my favourite like childhood game, and it's Command & Conquer Red Alert 2. It's got to be. It's still probably, oh, not probably, it is my, still my favourite game. Probably the best game ever. Uh, the music I used at the end of the first series, that little piano music, someone asked about that. I don't know what that is. Uh, I'll try and find it on my computer and just put a download link in the description or something. I can't remember what it's called though. Uh, so, yeah. So, um, oh, a few people asked about the ranks of the aliens, what all the, the different colours and stuff like that mean. I'll, uh, I'll, put, I'll just put a picture on the screen to um, show what they all are. So, yeah. A lot of my sound effects come from Call of Duty 1 and its expansion pack United Offensive. Uh, a lot of sounds come from that and there's a lot of mods for that game which also have more sounds and stuff so I take sounds from there as well. But other than that, most of them are just ones I downloaded from wherever, or ones I edited very slightly in Audacity or whatever. So yeah, that's where a lot of my sounds come from, taken from Call of Duty 1, or just downloaded off the internet somewhere. Uh, someone asked about a Discord server. Uh, I do have one, but I'm, I don't want to post the, an invite link publicly again, because it got spammed quite a bit last time I did that. So, yeah. Uh, there were a few comments about college and being a student and that and animating. And yeah, basically how I did that was, I'd a lot, usually I'd have like three or four assignments out at once. And I would just do like a few hundred words, you know, spend a couple hours on it at a time each day. And then a couple hours animating afterwards. It made it very manageable and I managed to get all my assignments done on time. So, and still a lot of the animation done. So that's how I managed to do that. Uh, there were a few comments about working and animating. Uh, yeah, when I get a full-time job, and I'll have to be sooner or later, uh, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to animate. That's going to take a lot out of the day, and I don't know how much I'm going to feel like animating when I get home. So I won't stop animating, but it will definitely reduce the amount I could animate. Uh, no one asked about it, but... There's a lot of comments on my other videos, so I thought I'd better answer anyway. Uh, the Crusades animation. Yeah, why well, I made that, basically my original idea was to have like the stick figures on the left fighting the ones on the right. And they just go through, and the ones on the right are just like the baddies throughout history. So it started with like swords and bows and arrows and stuff, then go through into like the early kind of guns and that into modern stuff. But I don't really like animating melee combat, and I don't really like animating bolt action rifles if I don't have to, so that basically just leaves the more modern guns. So I thought of just doing it set in sort of modern times, and 
at the time, like Putin and Crimea, and that was all in the news. So I was thinking of doing that, the final boss at the end being Putin in a mech suit or something. But by the time I actually got round to animating it, it was all about ISIS and terrorism, so I, I did that instead. So, yeah, that's why I made it. That's why I animated it, what I did. Uh, I'm not going to delete it like some people say I should. If you don't like it, just don't watch it. So, yeah, that's that's why I did it. Anyway, I think that's most of the, the main questions. Uh, I apologise if I missed yours, but yeah. Anyway, that's everything, I think. <laughs>